Hello everyone, how's it going? My name's Adam Reapels Vox, and in this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to download and save your Snapchat videos and stories, because apparently a lot of people don't know that you even can do this without third-party dangerous apps, or that it's actually quite easy. So let's take a look. Alright, so to record your Snapchat video, or to save them or whatever, you have to know what you're doing before you actually make them. That's something very important. So go ahead and open up Snapchat. Now, if you're publishing to your stories, and you can see me right here, then you can go over to your story, where it says my story right here, hit the three dots, it's gonna show you your story. Well, if you click it, it's gonna show you your story. We don't want that. Click your three dots, and then your active story, which you can see your little timeline thing that shows you how long is left before your story disappears. Everything that's still active, you can click that download icon, and if you if it's your first time, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to download it to your gallery? And then it will automatically save all your current images and videos in your Snapchat in your Snapchat story to your phone gallery. And then you can use something like Dropbox or simply a USB cable to transfer the files to your computer to use on to edit, or you can just on your phone publish those to Twitter or things like that. But if you're sending it directly to a person, then you have to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and re record. You have to do it before you send it, but after you record it. So I'm going to record a snap here. So I'm going to hold down the button. This oh, video recording failed because I am currently recording the uh, the screen. Okay, so I can't do that. So I'm just going to take a picture. <laughs> Boom. Okay. And then you can go ahead here, again, you have to do all of this before you hit save, so I'm gonna test snap, and then you can add emojis to it, you can do whatever you need to for that, move your text bar down, swipe and add your filters, we'll make it all crazy looking, and then at the bottom over here is that download icon. Now you have a couple other icons which can, you know, do time, you can add to your story directly from here for an unlimited number of times for 24 hours, but we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna click this down icon, which is gonna save your current snap, be it a photo or video, to your gallery. It popped up there that it was saving and then it was done, and then you can go ahead and send it to, uh, to whoever you're sending it to, be it a person directly or your story. So I'm gonna send it to a person and click done. So I went ahead and sent it to that person, but then if I open up my gallery, the snap is right there with the filter, the emoticon, and the text, and I can go ahead and share that out to Twitter, or go ahead and download it to my computer. So I do hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Come add me on Snapchat. I'm at EposVox. I'll post, I'll post, you know, the little my my Snapchat username in the description. Or if we swipe up here, you can take a screenshot of this with your phone if you like and add me via this. Apparently that's how it works on Snapchat, but just wanted to make this quick and easy tutorial on how to save your snaps. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. View whoring lets you get your channel a decent amount of views in a short run, but then costs you all the views in the long run. Just don't do it. You could only play one game for the entire rest of your life. What game would it be and why? What system would it be for? How much would you play it on a weekly or monthly basis? Been stuck in a fucking loop of Windows updates for like 10 minutes and my computer only restarted because it crashed. Stop Windows Microsoft, stop.